Hey everyone, so today I wanted to make a video on my beauty and body care related essentials for the winter time. I didn't want this video to be too horribly long, so I really did narrow it down to my absolute essentials and things that I can't live without during the winter time. So I hope that some of you guys find this video helpful, and if you are interested in finding out what they are, then please keep watching. I'm going to get started with face related products, and the most important thing I think during these colder months is definitely a great super hydrating, intense lip balm, and that has to go to nipple balm. If you haven't tried nipple balm for lip balm, I highly suggest it, especially if you have like severely chapped lips, this is amazing. This is the actual nipple balm for pregnant nursing mothers. Go to the breastfeeding aisle of the store and you'll typically, I think you'll always find a nipple balm. Just check on the back, make sure it's lanolin based. It's amazing what this does for your skin. It's just the best lip balm ever, and this tube lasts forever. I've had this one for over a year now. Another favorite lip balm of mine is the Tatcha Camellia Nourishing Gold Balm. This is so beautiful when you first get it. It has a sheet of gold leaf over the top, and then obviously that wears away, and you get down to the balm. It's like a nourishing jelly. I love the texture of this. It's quite different. It's not like a petroleum or creamy lip balm. It's really like this stiff jelly and I just apply it to your lips and it sinks in pretty quickly and your lips just feel hydrated and plump. It's got a gorgeous nice light fragrance to it as well. I really love this stuff and I keep it by my bedside. I'm also a huge fan of the entire Smith's line of lip balms. This one right here is the menthol and eucalyptus. I love the rose, strawberry, like there's all different kinds of versions of this that you can get and they typically come in tubes or tins. It's a petroleum based balm but then there are other ingredients added to it to make it a little bit more pleasant and some of them are tinted pink but that doesn't show up on the lips so just so you know. During the winter months, my skin gets a little bit more dry, and as a result of that, my complexion can start looking a little bit dull. So one of my favorite things to do is use liquid illuminators. I love them because they are multifunctional. You can mix it in with your foundation, and it's going to give your foundation a lot more of a glowing, glow-from-within type of look. You can wear it alone on your skin. You can mix a drop in with your moisturizer to give your moisturizer a little bit more of a glow, or you can wear them on their own. You can just apply it to the high points of your face, and it it doesn't look fake. It looks very natural and to most people they're probably not even going to really notice. It's just going to give you a nice light healthy glow. So I've narrowed it down to my top three favorites for you guys and the first one you have seen so many times on my channel it is the Kogendo Aqua Illuminator in the shade Sheer Beige. This is gorgeous. It's warm and it's golden and it just mixes well with whatever you want to mix it with. And then this one is one that I got recently but absolutely love. This is the Sephora Liquid Drops, and this one is in the shade Morning Light. I love this. It's a little bit more light and champagne, and it is a little bit more shimmery than the Kogendo one, but I love them both. And if you're looking for a drugstore option, then I also love the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. My favorite is the one in Bare Light. I don't really like the other colors because when I use a liquid illuminator, I want something that's a little bit more... Not totally neutral, but not too warm, and I like to stay in the champagne region, so if that's the type of color that you want, then any of the three of these would work really well for you. And because my skin gets a little bit more dry, I notice that I have more dry patches and things like that, so I do like to exfoliate a little bit more often. Not every day, but a little bit more often, a couple times a week, and I want to be using an exfoliator that's gentle and not going to be causing tears or really roughing up my skin and having negative effects. I want to use a nice gentle exfoliator and this one is my favorite right now. It's from Bosha. It is the Bosha Subaki Oil Infused Exfoliating Powder. This is so incredibly gentle so I don't know if everybody's going to like this. If you're looking for an exfoliator that's a little bit more heavy duty then this one is definitely not for you. And I also think that a moisturizing facial mask is completely necessary. One of my favorites is the Glossier Moisturizing Moon Mask. This stuff is phenomenal. It says that you put it on your face and then leave it on for 20 minutes, but I like to leave it on for even longer because it's almost like your skin just drinks the mask up, you rinse it off, and your face just feels plump and live and supple. Did I say live? I meant plump and alive. And it just makes your face feel like pillowy and soft and super hydrated. It's amazing. I love to use this at night. If I could use it every night, then I would. But I typically try to keep it to like two times a week. But this stuff is absolutely amazing. I love it. 
And I also need to be keeping an oil on my face, and the one that I have been absolutely in love with is Moroccan Oil's Pure Argan Oil. I just take a little drop, put it on my face when I wash my face in the morning, before I do my makeup, when I wash my face at night. You can use it on your body, you can use it in your hair, whatever you can think of using Argan Oil for, you can use it and it's going to just hydrate your skin and your hair and make it feel so much nicer. And I love this, like I said, because you just need the smallest amount and it does its job. And during the winter time, inevitably, because my face gets really dry, so does my body. So I like to keep my body exfoliated and dry body brushed. So I dry body brush every single day during the winter time. I really hold myself to dry brushing, especially during the winter. I do this every time before I take a shower. This one does not have a name, but I do have one from Yerba Prima that I also really love that I will link down below for you guys. But I always make sure that I dry body brush and occasionally in the shower I will use a sugar scrub and my absolute favorite sugar scrubs are from Soap and Glory. This is the Smoothie Star. Smoothie Star Breakfast Club. I love also um, Flake Away, but this one smells so delicious. Like this smells insane. It smells like cookie dough. Like you could eat it straight out of the tub. It is delicious. But I love the Soap and Glory body scrubs because they are sugar based. If they have salt in them, it's pretty much no salt at all. I know that there are some body scrubs that are salt based and for me personally, I need to be using sugar based body scrubs because when you exfoliate your body, you are causing micro abrasions in the skin and I find for myself personally that if I use a body scrub that has a little bit too much salt in it, then my skin dries out because it's almost as if the salt goes back into those micro abrasions and dries me out, it causes irritation, my skin gets all unhappy with salt scrubs so if you're like me, then try to get scrubs that are predominantly sugar based, otherwise the salt can really have kind of negative effects on your skin and instead of getting rid of the dryness, it can actually cause more. So definitely look for things that are more sugar based. I also think that a really great daily body lotion is really necessary. I was going to include body butters in this video, but I don't use them every day. If you guys are interested in the body butters that I love, I will link them down below, but I don't use them daily. But I always make sure to put lotion on my body, all over my body, head to toe. And you guys have seen this on my channel so many times now, but this is my favorite. I've been using it for two years. It's about to be three years. It is the Vaseline intensive care cocoa radiant if you have not tried this I highly suggest it even if you've tried all the other Vaseline lotions and didn't love them I think that you will love this because it's extremely hydrating makes your body feel like a baby's butt gives you this really nice glow because it's got like a little bit of petroleum jelly in it so amazing absolutely love this stuff and then one that I've been trying for the past like three months that I am pleasantly surprised with and love just as much as the Vaseline one is the Balm D'Amour Loving Care Body Balm. This, I think I love this so much because it reminds me of the Vaseline Intensive Care and because this has the Vaseline in it, this I noticed has in-house Galen's Wax or Galen's Wax. So it has like a wax in it that makes your skin so soft and so hydrated. It doesn't leave you sticky but you need to give it like five minutes to sink in. You know what I mean? I am the person who washes their hands all the time, especially during the winter time when everybody is getting sick. I wash my hands even more. So during the winter time, my hands are even more dry and especially my cuticles. And I just think that like white crispy line of dried cuticle around a manicure is so not flattering. So I think it's even more important to be using a cuticle regularly. I use cuticle oil so much and I use it in the morning before I film because I don't want to have dried cuticles on camera. I just always use cuticle oil and the one that I've been loving is the CND soil, Solar Oil. I like to keep this in my purse or my car and I don't want to just have like a bottle of oil, you know what I mean? So this is a little bit more convenient and I do actually genuinely love this stuff. So I do recommend a really great cuticle oil or just a regular bottle of jojoba oil. Or you could even use the argan oil. So it's up to you. You just need some type of oil to hydrate those cuticles. We all know that our feet get super dry during the winter time, so I think a pumice stone, pumice stone, how do you actually say that? I think that those are really important. I went to Sally's really early this morning to get this for the video for you guys because when you unwrap this, it's 
undistinguishable. It doesn't say anything on it. But my favorite are the Mr. Pumi bars. You can get them at Sally's. I don't know anywhere else that you can get them. This is a brand new one. I keep one in my shower at all times because otherwise I won't remember to use it. You can just soak your feet in a bowl or if you have a foot spa, you could do that and then use this. But I find I won't remember to use it unless I keep it in my shower. And then that way, when I'm taking a shower, my skin gets softened a little bit and then it's so easy to use this. And I use it probably like once a week. And the last winter essential that I have is a deep conditioning mask for your hair. Just like the skin on your face and your body, your nails, your hair gets dry as well, and I have been loving the Amika Nourishing Mask. I am actually planning on doing a video on all of my favorite deep conditioning treatments, but I mean, I love this one just as much as all the rest of them. And this is really great. It makes your hair feel buttery and soft. It's got a gorgeous, like floral, little bit fruity of a fragrance. It's just one of those deep conditioning masks that makes your hair manageable but it doesn't weigh your hair down or give it anything like filmy feeling. And I just typically put this in my hair maybe like three or four times a week. Like I do definitely deep condition a lot more during the winter time. Even if I'm not washing my hair, I will still get my hair wet and put a deep conditioning treatment in it. Really great leave-in conditioner. Not leave-in, a great deep conditioner. So yeah, I'd recommend that one to you guys. And those are all of my winter beauty essentials. Guys, so those are all of my winter beauty and body care related essentials. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, then feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you. I will also try to have all of the products directly linked for you guys. And I will also have my Twitter, Instagram, and my Snapchat. So please come follow me on there. I've been Snapchatting some of you guys a lot lately and it's really fun. So Snapchat me and come talk to me on Twitter and Instagram and everything like that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.